Guys, go check out our Patreon where you can get our daily morning show and next week's episode today. Welcome back to the Basement Yard uh, Quarantine Edition. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So uh, I gotta make you louder on my. I, if people could see how fucking makeshift this whole thing is, it's just it's a oh, it's amazing. They could see they could see it. They could yeah. see it. I ha- I literally yeah. have my camera on top of a, a, a Coca Cola fucking piggy bank type of thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sitting on my floor and I can't feel my feet. So this is gonna be a great episode. <laughs> You're sitting on your feet. Well, I'm sitting Indian style, so I'll make a, a couple adjustments. Adjust these. You can't but, uh, say you anyway. can't say Indian style. Oh, is that yeah? Racist? I think now it's a it's a crisscross applesauce, which I don't know. Crisscross applesauce, Native American style. Yeah, no, you can't say that either. I don't think. Oh shit! Because they all don't sit that way. I guess. I don't know. Did they sit that way? I, I've never seen a Native American sit. That's. Tr- I've only seen them. That's standing. true. They're always up and moving. They're always up and moving. And uh, so, hunting, uh, anyway, hunting and gathering. Th- yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. hunter, hunt. But uh, everything cool with no. you? Anything, no, no, no. Anything? No. Well, we're all locked indoors, so there's that. Yeah. Remember when I said that coronavirus was going to be a thing, and you were like, "Ah, oh, no, nah, come on, man! Like three people you had it." You keep saying that, and that's not. It's, it's true. not true. Yeah, no. it is. No, it one hundred percent is. Because I was like, "Hey, man, this is going to be a thing." And you were just like, nah, man, look at the statistics. Now I can't go outside. Statistics? What? I, got, I got the whole study with I don't have a project that I'm doing. You were like, you were like, it's in China and three people have it. And now I didn't even know the numbers. That's completely false. Go back to the tape. The tape? Yes. So, yeah, so the enough. tape, dude. I, I honestly, I don't remember. But I will say this. I didn't think it wasn't going to get here. I just didn't think we were going to be like, you know, <laughs> we can't go outside, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy, though, how you you become like, you did a complete 180. You were like, dude, no one's going to get this shit. No, no, no. I didn't say that. Corona. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just kidding. But, but you were like, yeah, like, you know, no one's going to get Corona. It's not, you know, it's not a big deal. Like, swine flu was worse. They closed my school. They closed the earth, dog. <laughs> they did. The earth. Yo. <laughs> they closed the, the earth. The world is closed. I know. All right. That's how crazy The world is. closed, dude. This is crazy. But I was, thank God, though, electricity can't get the flu. Oh, oh my if God. If I didn't have Wi-Fi. If electricity can get the flu. Dude, if, if you, like, if I didn't have Wi-Fi or, like, the internet or anything, I would have probably, like, the next time you would have saw me, you would have been like, this kid has no eyebrows. He dyed his hair purple. And half of his Dude, beard Dude, I would look shape. like Tom Hanks. I would look, yeah, I, I would look like Tom Hanks in Castle. We're, we're all like, going to look like Tom Hanks. Clothes. Because you can't get haircuts. I know. We we can't go get haircuts. That's how bougie we are, though. We won't cut our own hair, so we'll just look like shit <laughs> until we can get, like, $100 haircuts. First again. of all, I would look really fucking bad if I tried to cut my own hair. Yeah, me too. So I'm not even... I'm afraid I'm afraid to cut my own hair. Yeah. I've, I've got... I went to Costco yesterday. Did um, you wear proper protection? I did wear protection. Nice. First time, long yep. time. Um, I wore protection... And I was honestly at a point where I thought I had to stop and think in the store, like, yo, like all these people are probably in fear for their lives. <laughs> I'm not really afraid, though, for some reason. I'm afraid for other people's lives. Cheap plug. Uh, that That's I a am. good podcast, guys. <laughs> yeah, bro. Check it out <laughs> yeah. Thursdays. Um, but it's crazy how, like, as the youth, we have control now. But like we, do, what do you, what? We have control of the world, bro. No, because it's like if we go outside, the whole earth gets sick. That's how I look yeah, at it. Yeah, but we get sick too. Yeah, but if we get sick, some some of us aren't gonna die. I'm high risk as fuck. Yeah, you're diabetic, Dan, with some asthma. I'm a oh yeah yeah yeah. I got I got asthma. Yeah. I got asthma real bad, and I have diabetes real yeah. bad. So. Oh, underlying conditions galore over there. Underlying conditions, boy. That should be my new. That should be my rap name. Underlying conditions, but the, it's spelled with a Z. Underlying. <laughs> underlying, like a lion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo. They call me underlying conditions. Oh shit. Cause I come sick already. Yeah. yeah, but that's what it's gonna be. 
I, no, but I was walking around Costco and I was looking at the people and I was like, oh my God, these people are all afraid of dying. That, well, yeah, dude, people are fucking dropping like flies. It was like 800 people who died yesterday in fucking Italy or something. I love that New York has just become like the mecca for Corona though. Well, uh, it's obvious. I mean, it's the mecca of the world, but it's it's just like well, the thing is, uh, people are gonna get mad. It's at like that. New York. It's, <laughs> it's the it's it's typical New York shit where like first of all, <laughs> everyone was just kind of like, yeah, whatever, it's gonna happen, but it's not a big deal. Then everyone's getting it, and we're like, oh shit, and like no one gives a fuck still. I went to the park the other day to do a workout in the park. There was like no one around. It was like me and Pete. There's 25 kids playing basketball. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, do you not have realize we, what's happening here? Have we become old enough to tell people to go home? I mean, I don't have the heart to do that. I'm a pussy, so I can't really be like, hey, hey, get out of here, kid. I'm so afraid to tell a group of kids to go home. Yo, I'm, I'm, like, terrified. I'm terrified of kids because I'm afraid they'll, like, put me in, like, a weird TikTok and make me look like an asshole or something or, like, dab on me or some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> just be like, I, I'm just afraid to be like, hey, kids, you should probably go home. And just be like, shut up, you old fuck. Damn. I don't think anyone would call us an old Probably fuck. have diabetes. <laughs> shut up go and home. suck your pump, you asthmatic bitch. Yeah. Shut up and take your abuterol, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know, man. This whole thing's been kind of crazy. Uh, a part of me wants to, like, believe that none of this is real. And that's just a conspiracy theory that is based on nothing. Oh, but let me hear this. A, a part of me feels like... This should be good. No, 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 no. It's it's opposite. Yeah. What I meant by not real is I feel like way more people have it and they're not telling us. Well, yeah. Obviously. Like, way more people have this fucking thing. And everybody fucking knows it. Like, in the government. And they just don't want to tell us so we don't flip the fuck well, out. I think, they just, that's why they're telling us to stay home. No, I think that, like... Already, people know that a bunch of people have it. The only reason why we the num the cases aren't that high is because we haven't been able to test. But then Cuomo got on TV. It was like, oh, we did ten thousand tests yesterday, and then the next day we had like fucking four thousand more cases. So it's like, as we do more testing, more things are gonna come out. But they project that like forty percent of the country is gonna get it. Forty percent of the country is gonna yeah. get it. Oh my god, I'm fucked. Just don't leave your house. Dude, it's hard for me to not leave my house. I love so many things. I know you've left your house I in the middle of this thing and got fucking hand tattoos. I saw that. I did get a hand no, tattoo. No, you get yes, you I got did. hand tattoos. Yeah, I got multiple tattoos. That's why you can't leave me alone for more than two I know. Days. I was like, worried. I was like, I want to go help Danny because, you know, he might get a face tat in the coming days. But I actually, I actually called to get more tattoos. But she was like, dude, we're not doing anything. And I was like, I feel you, but like, can I come get another tattoo? What were you going to get? Uh, something like an elephant. <laughs> You've been saying this for you. First of all, let's see the tattoos that you have. The tattoos that I have? Yeah. It's uh, If they could see them, they might have to punch in. It's a X on my finger, and it's a cross on my hand. Because we need Jesus. Yeah, now more than ever. Everybody needs Jesus. Hey. Don't be picky. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? I think I think everybody needs to talk to Jesus a little bit. I prayed two nights did ago. Did you? And it went great. Yeah, I did. I prayed for like the first time in like first time long time. First time long time, Mike. And I swear, and I don't want to sound crazy, but he answered me. He answered me. He told you to get those tattoos? No, he said, hey, cool tattoo. Now you could talk to me. I wasn't sure about you, but now Jesus is sure about me. For sure. I don't think that was him. Yeah. No, I think it was my downstairs neighbor. I, 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 I think so as well. Did I tell a story on here about how my neighbor chased me up the street? <laughs> no. We haven't recorded okay. in so long. Just so everyone knows, it's Sunday at 1.30 right now. Also, yeah. if I have a little bit of a lisp, it's because I have one of those, like, taste bud things that, like, are it's like a little sore or whatever. Oh, you have, like, a little, like, an inflamed taste Dude. bud. I'm t I've, I've been talking like I have a retainer in, like because it hurts so bad. Those are the absolute worst. Yeah, I hate this shit. I hate those. Those are the worst. But people are dying, and we have canker sores. Like, I'll take that any day. Over any <laughs> I don't day. even have a canker sore. That's the thing. You know what I mean? Like, I have something yeah, that's yeah, way yeah. easier to deal with than that. But What the fuck is a canker? Uh, it's, it's a, 
I mean, it comes, it derives from the word anchor. So it's just like, it, you know, it holds oh. you down. And then oh. cane, uh, like sugar cane, it just, it's a symbol of strength. So it's a strong yeah. anchor of a sore. You know what's funny, though, also? Uh, how people are dying and people are like, yo, you guys coming out on Monday? Yeah, I think. <laughs> and and a part of me wants to be like, dude, what are you talking about? But then a part of me is like, yo, we got to be a beacon of hope. <laughs> a beacon this of is hope. As close as, this is as close to Batman as I'm ever going to get. I can lift up communities with you, of course. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like we can lift up communities and like change the world and shit. All right. We need to pull this back, okay? You don't think we're you don't think we're changing the yeah, world could, one podcast I, at a time? We could be the canker of a community for sure. Thank you. <laughs> let's canker this let's canker this Let's community. hunker down, canker the community and uh we'll be fine. You know what I mean? No, but I do, I do yeah. understand people saying that because like for me, dude, like spending all this time inside is just you know, I, I have to like today before we before I got here to start recording, I like just drove around for an hour. Like I just had to like change the scenery. You went outside. I in my car. In your car, which has recycled air in it, and you're breathing in fucking Oh my god. You can't get it from the air. Yeah, you can, dude, if you're within six feet of anyone that has and who's it? It? maybe your car had maybe your car had if it. there's a, a fucking infected man in my trunk. Ha! Ah, breathing into my back seat, then maybe I have a yeah. But I think that's not the case. All right, can we get into how drunk you were two days that's ago? Though? No, I don't want to even. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, Joe is so drunk. One had superb wine teeth going, just superb wine yeah. teeth. Yeah. You look like you just got laid off from like your job at like Bed Bath and Beyond, like 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 a retired mom. And I was like, this woman is wasted. Yeah. Was that the drunkest you've been since Nashville? Um, <laughs> I, yeah, judging by how everyone was talking to me, yeah, yeah. You know what it was? My boy was fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy about it. I actually hate when that happens. I've been noticing that I get really fucking like upset with myself when I get that drunk for some reason. I don't know why. Oh yeah! As soon as I saw how drunk you were, I said I cannot wait to talk to Joe tomorrow. He's gonna not feel good. No man, so. I really hate it. And then you told me I called my mom a retard on Instagram Live, <laughs> and I was like, Jesus, what am I doing? You called your mom a retard on Instagram Live for the world to see. Yeah, it was a lot. Um, my mom's here. My mom's my mom's a retard, and I was like, you know what? Let's cut it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I think that I'm going to blame everyone around me for not being like, all right, that's enough of the phone. Yeah, maybe they should have slowed you down uh -huh. for sure. Well, there was no, there was no uh, slow uh, in the train. That was the problem. Because no, I, no. I I had a bunch of like wine because we made steaks that night. So I was like, oh, it's a perfect excuse to, to drink some wine. And then for I sure. was listening to – I was sitting outside because it was a beautiful day out that day. It was gorgeous. Yo, we've had a lot of beautiful days during this fucking pandemic. Yeah, but I uh, I had some red wine and uh, steaks, and I was sitting outside. I was listening to the Youth Lagoon, uh, Youth Lagoon album, so I was just in that, like, oh. Fucking feel. Yeah, I was just, like, in, in enjoying yeah. my time with my family, and then, you know, one thing led to another, and then I'm face down on the floor playing Mario Kart, somehow coming in second place. I mean... As long as you were able to play Mario Kart, that's all. That, that's all. That yeah. Matters. Are Are you going to take a drinking hiatus now? I don't think you can in this pandemic. No. I wish I still drank during this pandemic. I'll tell you that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take a hiatus. I'm not gonna make any more proclamations. I'm gonna. I'm, that's. I'm like giving that up for Lent, even though, I, it apparently it is Lent. I didn't know that, but. Yeah, I didn't know it was Lent either. Oh, fucking Easter is fucked. <laughs> it's not one of the of like a huge holiday anyway. Easter is a huge holiday, dude, food-wise, and it's the f fucking Jesus came back. That's not huge news. Oh, we're going to have to, Jesus is going to have to take a longer nap this year. Yeah. Is, is Jesus going to be like the groundhog? <laughs> yeah, like... We need Jesus to see his shadow this year and coronavirus will go away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think that's what's going to happen. He didn't see his shadow, guys. It's three more months three of corona. Three months. <laughs> Dude, it's 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 fucking it's crazy to think about. Like I the first couple of days, like now I feel like I've as as the days go on, I think it'll get easier. 
and I've slowly kind of accepted the fact that like this is going to be my life for the I'm assuming through the summer. This quarantine, like stay away from people thing, is gonna last for months. Yes, yeah. it's gonna last for months. For months. Yeah, and I'm I'm just like I'm just kind of preparing myself for that. And like, but here's the thing, right? If everyone does what they're supposed to do and just stays inside, right? Like, if if right. you just stay in your apartment and you like, you know, you could go outside and take a walk or do whatever like that. But if you don't go like to a party or some shit or like be around a bunch of people yeah. then in parties are cool though parties are great um <laughs> but if you do that then in like 15 20 days we'll know for sure that none of us have it or if we did have it it's out of your system like blah 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 and then we might be able to spend time together you know what i mean josh 100 percent had it and i hope you're fucking watching josh you fucking had that shit why because he was like, oh, my throat is fucked up. And Josh isn't one to be sick and call out. That's my job. Yeah. <laughs> That's my job. That's my... So if someone's going to so someone's gonna take that job from me, it better be Corona. And I think he had Corona. And I'm not trying to make light of Corona, because I know people are dying. But you got to find some comedy within this thing. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, that's what we're... I feel like so much has happened. Tom Brady went to the Buccaneers. Yeah, what the fuck was that? And, why, and then, like, all these people are getting traded, and it's like, dude, like, you can't even go to the other city that you just joined, because you're going to die. <laughs> Not only that, but, like, there's no sports. There's no nothing. Yesterday, I watched four movies. You watched four uh, movies yesterday? Three. I watched Goodwill Hunting. D th- Goodwill Hunting, great D3 film. D3 Mighty Ducks. D3 Mighty Ducks, great film. And I watched uh, Creed 2. It's all great Americans, how was Creed? It's okay. It's the same movie. Yeah, you know, like I'm gonna fight this guy. You shouldn't fight him. I can't train you. Damn it! Oh, I'm gonna train you now. We win. Did Stallone like have any of those like fucking where you can't? Uh, this, uh, this is bad. I mean, all of them. Yeah. Oh, you gotta put your head down. You gotta work hard. You gotta focus. You gotta, you gotta do all that and get in there. Apparently, I would love so. I would love to hear Sylvester Stallone address the nation on coronavirus. Uh, you know, you got to fight. <laughs> no dig deep. Fight against it. It's not how many times you get corona. <laughs> it's about how many times you can't get corona in this environment. <laughs> the fuck are you saying? Yeah, I heard dogs can get corona now, dog, and I'm sure. No, I think it's like two... I, there was like two cases and they were like weak positives. Whatever the fuck that means. I don't know what that means. Let me tell you something. If something's a weak positive, it's a pause. Yeah, why? Uh, what's a strong pause? Yeah, it's like, hey, what's up, dude? You got HIV, but it's weak HIV. I don't want any. I don't want a weak HIV. Yeah, it's like, yo, you got weak BDs. I'm like, I still got the BDs. You do, te- you do you know technically I mean? have the weak BDs, right? I do, I do, I do have weak beaties. I have type two. Type one people come from my neck. Yeah, yeah. It's like you weren't born with a cut. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you oh, don't belong. You, you self developed this cut. Yeah. Um. I don't, you don't have one of these bracelets, cuz. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, uh, I, I felt like I was slowly going insane. Also, I'm trying to stay away from all like the news or whatever because it's just depressing, and it's just like. Did you see what? Did you see Cuomo and his brother talking? Yeah. What the fuck was that? I think they were just fucking around. I don't know, bro. If me and you were brothers, which I kind of feel like we are, but <laughs> if we were, like, related, and I was a news anchor, and you were the governor, and I was like, yo, have you called mom yet? Like, come on, bro. How unprofessional. No, nah, I think they were joking around, to be honest. Also, I'll say this, right? Cuomo crushing it. Cuomo is not backing down. Cuomo, like, I don't know anything. I don't know his track record. I don't know anything about Cuomo, to be honest with you. All I know is the way he's dealing with the fucking, you know, the whole pandemic thing. I think he's crushing it for New York, but we'll see. I'm just afraid of... I just been on... I get my news from Twitter. Yeah. So, like, I see whatever is breaking on there or what's about to be said. I love that people, like, spoil, it's like, yo, spoiler alert, like, state of emergency, Trump's gonna announce it at 3 o'clock. Dude, first of all, 
How many? Woj how many fucking text messages have you gotten in the past three days with everyone being like, "Yo, my brother's sister's aunt works for the what CDC, and martial law's coming, and we're not going to be able to breathe anymore. So lock your doors." And you're like, "What?" It's a, I, I didn't know that everybody had a sibling in the CIA. Yeah, what is that? That is t that is taking time out of their day to text them. It's like, "Yo, what's up? Yo, the entire government shutting down in five Yo, minutes. my uncle founded the FBI and his mother-in-law works inside of the virus and she knows where it's going all right yo what's up so my grandfather worked on the actual original corona the covid one so he knows how this is going to progress so you have to make sure to get as much toilet paper as you can because once it gets to covid 23 Dude, they have to shut down the entire country that's another thing what is the obsession with the toilet paper what is that I don't know. Are people that worried about how many shits are people taking? They're like, we gotta buy all soap. Like, dude, I have to I bought toilet paper literally m once since I've lived here. It's been almost two years. You yeah. buy a big thing of Scotts, I and you're good. I bought a thing of toilet paper when I moved in here, and it's still here. Also, I have taken the some of the best shits of my life during this entire time. Define best. Just perperfectly not too much wiping double tapered amazing shit nice just coming out like yeah, a hard just, rock yeah it's just like i'm literally like an assembly line just passing it off just giving it the last stamp of approval yeah. and it's out nice that's all that's all it's like been. pooping like how's a your, nerf football like boop yeah it's perfect it's perfect how's your family been they're good keeping in good spirits i guess i like basically moved into my mom's house because i uh cuz like i don't know just like, i feel like being by myself i'm going insane so i have my all my video games and shit are at my mom's house, and I put them in the basement so that me and Keith, because Keith's like PC setup is down there, so we can like play Call of Duty or whatever the fuck we want to do. And uh, there's a pullout couch down there, yeah. so I just sleep there, and I come here during the day to work or do whatever the hell I need to do. This, in a weird way, has kind of been like Christmas break for adults. And I know some people are struggling. Dude, it's but, a but like, long break. It's a long... Yeah, this is like... Remember like when we went to college for five minutes? And ah, yes. It would, it'd be like, yo, I can't wait to get till Christmas because you're off for a month. Yeah. College kids, I don't think they understand how amazing they have it. Oh. It's like, dude, you go, to, you go to school for a couple months, you do a whole bunch of drugs, you get drunk, you have weird sex, and then when Christmas comes around... You get a whole month off. They don't even care if you're a Jew. You get a whole month off. Yeah. You get a whole month it's off. true. doesn't matter who your Jesus yeah. is or who your God is. You get a whole month off. Yeah. And their summer starts in May. Mm -hmm. It's a great time. Enjoy your life. You got a good 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 life. Stay healthy. You got to stay healthy. I love the people down in Florida, though, that are just getting wasted and partying. All right. I'm going to say this because I forgot about that until right now. <laughs> Those fucking idiots that are in Florida, like, bro, if I get corona, I just, like, I get it, bro. Like, it's my fucking birthday, bro. Like, I'm turning 20 fucking one, bro. It's like, yeah, I know it's, a, I know it's a global pandemic right now, but it's like, yo, I just turned 21 and I got to fucking take an ice luge out of a girl's asshole. To celebrate. I don't care about corona. Yeah, and it's like, I'm not going to die. Like, I'm not fucking 85 with, with uh, breathing problems. It's like, dude, you are a fucking idiot. Yo, it's not my fault that 84-year-old people have respiratory issues. I'm fucking fine, bro. I'm fucking good. Yeah, dude. And who knows what I kind of fucking shape all those kids' lungs are or all the jeweling that's probably going on. Yeah. A lot of jeweling. A lot of jeweling. Tons of jeweling sure. on the beach. But like those kids those yeah. kids are fucking idiots, man. Like anyone who is, is like still going out and like spending time with people and like, you know, doing this, doing that, it's like, dude, just stop. Like the only time that I see anyone that isn't my immediate family now is I go to the park and work out with like Pete, uh, Espo and Ralph. But like we're not like fucking spotting each other, spitting each other's mouths and you know that kind of workout. <laughs> I mean, that's a good workout, too. I mean, too. yeah. I don't mind yeah. that. The thing I'm worried about the most is that... Just give me a timeline. Give me a timeline at some point. Just be like, yo, this is like two more months and like we'll be okay. The fact that we don't know 
is we could literally be doing this for like the next seven months. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I think... We're going to be completely different people, and I'm going to get fat as shit. <laughs> I need to start exercising, like, immediately. You should. I worked so hard to get down to this weight. I tell you this right now. If I see another fucking... Yo, I bought two huge things in the tele yesterday. I'm afraid to open one. Oh, dude, why don't you open it? Pandora's box. Pandora's box. I'm, uh, this Nutella is so attractive. Yeah. That I, I don't even want to say what I thought about doing this thing. Having sex with it. I said it. Just, just c- continuously dipping. Just continuously dipping. I can eat in, in. I have six pounds of Nutella in my house. Jesus, why the fuck did you buy so much Nutella? What was the plan? Because, I, because I went to Costco, and then when you go to Costco, you realize this is for people with families, and I'm like, eh, I'll do it anyway. Dude, I have so much sliced roasted turkey, I could hand it out for fucking Thanksgiving. Yeah. In, like, a fur coat and, like, feed this entire community. Costco is crazy, man. Costco you should only go to if, like, you're starving. Because you go there and they're like, well, you could get one box of honeycombs for two thirty five, Or you can get 15 boxes and it comes out to 89 cents a box. And you're like, well, I'm going to get 15 yeah. fucking boxes then. I'm going to have to go with these boxes. Yeah. And then, uh... Were they know, handing out I, samples? Because that's dangerous. That's dangerous. There were no... St- there were no samples. All right, good. There were no samples given, and I was very upset about that. Yep. But the other thing that I was upset about, too, is that somebody stole... I had my first Queens robbery. Huh? So I, I, ha... so I moved to Queens. Yeah. Everybody knows I moved to Queens. Um, so I'm living in Queens now, and I, I think I've officially become a member of Queens because somebody stole my delivery. And I think that's what the most Queens thing that can happen to you. It's almost like an initiation. So, if you don't know me very well, I don't have a couch. So, um... <laughs> I'll tell you this. Yeah. If I wasn't forced to buy a couch, all right? I was forced to buy a couch. And I said to myself, you know what? I'll buy this couch. Couch is fine. That didn't get stolen. But I bought two bedside lamps to be by this couch. Uh, couch you got lamp jacked? Yeah, I got lamp jacked. Damn. And then it's pillow jacked too. They stole two pillows from they me. They pillow jacked you and they jacked your lamp. They pillow jacked the shit out of me. I got pillow jacked. Yo, that honestly sounds super awesome. To, oh, if like if, if if they put like two your penis in between two pillows and fucking jack. Well, you? I'm just saying, just the what you, I mean, uh, not I mean, I don't know what I was going. <laughs> I don't know really where I was going with that. I just know, like, pillow jacked sounds like it would be kind of... It was something you do on your prom night. Yeah, pillow jack. Like, I got pillow jacked. It's like a like an introduction to a hand job. Yeah, or like a, yeah, a pseudo-tit yeah. fuck or something. You know what's weird? There's probably going to be a, a pseudo-tit fuck. You know, you know what's weird, though? There's going to be a lot of coronavirus-based porn now. Yeah, I saw that on Pornhub. Like, I saw, like, a screenshot on Twitter of, like, two pe- two it's people like, with masks, like, kissing. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? It's be like, COVID patient gets anal. I'm going to be like, what is this about? Yeah, like, what? What is this? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> How have you been eating, though? Have you been eating, like, shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been eating, like, shit. Dude. But, like, really good food. I f- Dude, I took a shit the other day. And okay. it just smelled... Like, I, I'm trying to think of just, like, mint. You took a shit that smelled like mint? It was like, <laughs> it was like mint dirt. It, there was some dirt, but like. Oh, you mean like mint condition or like mint, like the, the herb? No, I, I mean the herb, the leaf. Uh, wow. So it ha- you had a mojito ba- shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it smelled like Ocean Drive in South Beach. Like, it, I was like, Good for you. dude, it was weird. And I haven't had anything minty. I don't really like the it's, minty. It smelled, it smelled like Ocean Drive in South Beach. It did, bro. I was like, I was shitting. And I was just like, what is, I thought I was going insane. Like, I thought there was something yeah. wrong with me. Like, I was like, wait, what? Uh, what is happening here? That's kind of dope, though. It might have been the coffee that I had because I had coffee at my mom's house. It was some, I don't know what the fuck brand it was. And I was like, is this making my poop smell like a sunny beach or whatever is going on? 
whatever's coming in, whatever you're putting in, I got to get because I want my poop to smell good. Yeah. Speaking of poop, I came home yesterday and my entire apartment smelled like everyone on my block came into my living room and took a shit. Yeah. <laughs> because you live near like the water. Yeah. And I was like, yo, who broke into my apartment, farted for three hours and then <laughs> left and didn't steal anything? <laughs> that's, that's what I thought happened. Farted yesterday. for three hours. Yo, I came in here as soon as the door opened. It felt like somebody farted into my mouth. And there was nothing I could do about it. And it, you know, like when you're farting a bunch in your room and you have like that lingering stench? Oh, yeah. That's what it smelled like. It, it smelled like Goldilocks came in here and just shit in every room. Yeah. Until she found the right room yeah. to shit in. And she and never she found the right room. <laughs> she just she kept never going. Found the right room. She went to the neighbor. Yeah. House. So it smelled so bad, and I, I I was so embarrassed, like to be like yo like I'm just living dwelling in this shit smell yeah, Corona shit smell yeah it was terrible I know it's you know sometimes <laughs> farted for three hours <laughs> oh fuck that was funny um you ever fart so much during the day you just start laughing at every fart after it's like now it's just getting dude ridiculous. first of all. I'll say this. I just had fucking like that food poisoning, whatever that 24 hour bug was when I was in Vermont. Yeah. Major yeah. diarrhea. But one thing, one, one silver lining with mage diarrhea is that my body, I guess from just like forcing out stuff also, also yeah. sucks in a bunch. Yeah. And dude. I'm dude, I'm setting it off. It's insane. Dude. Like just like long, <laughs> Fucking dude, if Diplo lived in my apartment, he would have sampled one of my farts and made a fucking hit record with it. Yeah, and it would have been There's nothing better. There's nothing better than sucking air into your uh, ass and farting. It's, it's, it's you know, it's definitely top three. Yeah, dude. It's and you giggle so much after it's like, yo, I'm sucking air through my butthole. You bro. ever been like laying in bed and then you fart but it comes out extremely hot and you go, Okay, I gotta hunker down here and just like really pull the splint because I can't smell that. I like, yeah, dude, before this. I like lift my leg so it goes out that way and not towards me. <laughs> you ever do, you ever do, I think we've talked about this, but for, for the new people, uh, new people to the show, yeah. um, you ever pull one ass cheek apart so you could get a silent, like, uh, air fart and it's just like, Fleff. yeah, it's like, I just... <laughs> so, <laughs> there's something so, cause it hits your other ass cheek and that's fine. It ripples out that way. But I love spreading my butt apart and farting. Yeah, because it... <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. It's oh my god! I wanted to tell you. You know how we made that joke? Well, it wasn't a joke. It was real life. But like, when uh, you fart on the toilet bowl, and it yeah. makes that sound, it's like so, <laughs> so, dude. Uh, the other day, I didn't even feel like I had to fart. You're right, and I think this is just from eating like. Fucking Doritos. My, yo, I ate three days in a row. I had a chocolate bar. Just like a Hershey's chocolate bar. Just randomly. Like not even in the mood for it. Just ate it because it was there. Good for I just, you. I just Good been you. eating because I'm just bored. Like I don't know what else to do. I'm like, well, I might as well eat. I'm doing nothing. Like it's, I'm going to be a disgusting freak. But I yeah. didn't even feel like I had to fart. And I sat down on the toilet in the morning. And two gigantic farts shocked the world. Dude, they came flying out of me, and I was so confused. I was like, how? Because you know. Yeah, of course but you know. I, I, it was a surprise. I always love when my body surprises me. Like, if I get impressed by my own fart, I'm like, good feel. Soup. Soup. Are you eating? Guafi. Oh, uh, 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 sipping coffee. It's also freezing cold I, now. Yeah, Sucks. my coffee's super cold now, too. Another thing I wanted to ask you, though is are you still like genuinely worried for like your close family or are you genuinely worried for like just the earth now i'm 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 i am not too worried about my the only person the meads? i'm worried about my mother obviously she's 64 years old so but yeah. but also she doesn't have to go back to work and she's not going to go anywhere. I already told her that she can't leave. <laughs> and Yeah, smart. I, she shouldn't go anywhere. I, she doesn't need to go anywhere. Yeah, she doesn't. She has everything she needs there. So I think 
I feel all right about my immediate family because I know we're doing the right thing and we're not like doing unnecessary travel. We're not going here, blah, 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 blah. Like I had to go to Brooklyn to meet up with Greg, but we like were outside, you know, like we were like walk, yeah. walking around and not spending a lot of time like sitting next to each other, like going to like a crowded coffee shop or like doing anything crazy like that. As long as we're not right. doing that, then I feel okay. I do think that a lot of people are going to die though. I think a ton of, uh, no, seriously. Like I think a ton, yeah, dude. I think a ton of people are going to die because of just the hospital situation. We're not able to like, they're overrun and like they're, they're going to, it's going to be, it's going to become something like with Italy In Italy, they had to start telling people over the age of 80 or even 70, like, we're just not going to treat you because you don't have a good chance of surviving because yeah. there's not enough ventilators. There's not enough doctors. There's not enough beds. So they're going to, I, I heard from someone who, like, has... You heard from your yeah, cousin in the CIA? I heard from my, my aunt's twice-removed <laughs> father that uh, there was an ICU that they set up for patients that are strictly un, uh, 35 years old and younger. That's smart, though. They should do that. Because those people are going to, like... They're, they'll more than likely make it. But people who are older that have some stuff, like, they, they might not... And, yo, if they're going to have to start making decisions like that, like, that's going to be fucked up. And that's why I'm trying to, like, distance myself from the news because, like, I know that's coming. Like, I know it's going to come where they're going to start saying people are going to start dropping like flies. And it's already started in Italy. Like, 800 people died the other day. And then in Germany, I think they had, like, a fucking – they had a day where hundreds of people died also. And that's just going to start happening here, dude. Like, it's just going to – it's just going to happen. Like, we can't just handle the amount of people that are coming into the hospitals. Yeah, I'm legitimately afraid, like, just for, like, anyone that I know that is, like, somewhat 50. Yeah. Because that if it gets to that point where, like, they're like, yo, we just can't treat you because, like, you're too old and too far gone. Like, you're just going to be dead. Like, that's a horrible reason to die. Yeah, man. I mean. <laughs> it's just like, yo, that's why we have to stay inside. Well, that's why I was saying, it goes back to my point about why young people kind of have some power here. Just to stay the fuck home. Yeah, just don't be fucking do stupid. Fucking... Like, it's yeah. not about you personally. It's about, like, everyone else. Like, you know? Like, I just want to be able to, like... I, I am optimistic that... I don't think it's going to be over by June. I think this... Probably I not. think this will last until we have a vaccine. I don't think it's going to, like, go anywhere until then. But I'm optimistic that, like, by June, we can lift some of the, like things that are in place now like maybe you could be in groups of 10 now or you could be in groups of 20 right. or something like it'll slowly right. work its way back but i mean i don't know dude like it's just it's it's trash i heard they closed jfk for a little bit yesterday yeah because uh somebody somebody popped popped for a positive yeah i don't doubt it and they were like yeah we gotta shut it down for a little bit i don't doubt it man yeah when we flew to well, austin it was a fucking ghost town in JFK. There was no one in there. Yeah, it was. It I was. walked right it through was. security like it was like nothing. Felt sick as soon as I got off the plane. Yeah, it's scary. And Joe has not wanted to see me since. Joe has been like my fucking dad the last two weeks. He's been like, where'd you go today? Where have you been? What did you do today? <laughs> Where are you? No. What are you doing? Is, Who are you That's with? a lie. What, what time are you coming home? I was just like, oh my god. No, because you fucking... You kept tabs on me. I kept tabs on you because you have to come in here and I got a fucking old-ass mom that I see. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And also, you're out here going to fucking uh, Carbone, fucking pottery class, taking Ubers. Like, there's not a pandemic I like around. pottery. Let me do pottery in peace. What is this, right? ghost? And I went to... And I went to <laughs> it is ghost. I felt like Patrick Swayze. How'd you do? I did fucking awesome, dude. I made a little coffee creamer cup, which was dope. Did you get to have it? Uh, it, it got glazed, and then everyone got sick, so it's not going to come for me. <laughs> okay. But uh, it was cool. It was a very cool experience, and I actually went to Carbone the last night. And then they closed. Yeah. And I've been in quarantine ever since. Listen, guys. I love everybody. And especially... I know when people are right. I shouldn't have went to the restaurant. That <laughs> I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. And I feel bad about that. No, why? But There's I no did... reason to feel bad. No, because everyone was like, "Yo, <laughs> oh, people were like people. People were mad at you." Oh man, came from my head. Dog. Wow, really? 
people co- coming for my neck. And I love everybody. And, and you want to know it's hard? You want to know it's really hard, though? And I don't, I'm not blaming this on why I went to Carbone, really. But, like, uh, this is going to get serious for a second. But, like, there's – people are – they do understand that, like, a lot of people with mental health issues, like, staying inside all the time is is horrible. So, it's like, I was like, yo, I have to live some kind of a normal life. But then it just got worse and worse and worse in the news. And, like, everything just started closing and closing. So, now, like, if I don't go outside for a walk or something, like, I'll lose my fucking mind. Well, you're not alone on that because I feel the same exact way. Like, I yeah, have to so leave. Like, you know, I have to, like, be able to go outside. And even, like, that's another thing in my mom's house. Like, if... But if I don't think this will happen, but if they tell like you can't leave your property, like she has a backyard and a front yard, so at least I'll be able to like be outside. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's like you know, and like the other thing too is like now it's getting to a point. So like, how the fuck am I going to get my medications? Like you know, no, like, you'll be able to mad, do that. This mad shit. You'll be able to do that. I hope so. They're not going to cut that off. Like they're not going to shut supermarkets. They're not going to shut like you know the essentials. At this non-essential yeah. businesses are all shut down. I don't think. That the that the quarantine will get worse than it is right now. There's no reason for anyone to go outside. Um, yeah. But we'll see. Also, let me just get to these sponsors real quick, and then we'll jump back <laughs> into this thing. <laughs> nah, yo, you'll be able to get your Lexapro. Uh, let's uh, let's go to this uh, sponsor real quick. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get your fucking meds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's actually interesting because these all of these uh, sponsors I've that are for today. I have used in the past two days. Uh, the first one being Liquid IV, which I've been using every single day, mostly because oh hell yeah, I've been crushing because that. of the consumption of wine. Uh, I need to be hydrated afterwards. Um, but Liquid IV, uh, it's the fastest growing wellness brand. Uh, you can find them everywhere these days. Um, basically, it like turns a cup of water into like three cups of water. Okay. There's, uh, if you're dehydrated, one stick and 16 ounces of water hydrates you two to three times faster and more efficiently than water alone. Uh, plus you get the added bonus of vitamin C, B3, B5, B6, and B12. Um, which, so it gives you energy. It makes you feel good. And like, it's the perfect way to, uh, you know, get it going after you've had a long night drinking, or if you're, you just want to take it anyway, just to keep hydrated. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so go check out liquid IV. Uh, and it's also, it gets to your system faster than water alone as well so it's it gets delivered there quicker um get 25 percent off when you go to liquidiv.com use the code basement at checkout 25 percent off anything you order um again the promo code is basement for 25 percent off liquidiv.com promo code is basement okay next we have uh raycon these are uh wireless earbuds uh ray j these are his fucking ear earbuds um i Raycon. Raycon. Um, but I, I used these the other day because I was doing some meditation because I'm in the house and I don't know what to do with my life sometimes. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to meditate. So I did like a nice 10 minute and it felt good. Um, and these are great. They stay in my ear. I usually have a problem with buds that not, not staying in my ear, but these, they stay right in your ear. They're like noise canceling. I can't hear anything else when they're in. Um, they're great. And uh, their newest model, the Everyday E25, are the best ones yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing. Uh, a lot of bass and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. Um, but yeah, they're really good. I really like them. So go check them out. Uh, you get 50% off your order at buyraycon.com slash basement. That is buyraycon, R-A-Y-C-O-N.com slash basement uh, for 15% off. Okay. And lastly, this I've been using like crazy because we can only order stuff online now because we can't go to the stores, um, is Honey. Honey is basically a uh, online shopping tool that automatically finds the best promo codes and applies them to your cart. Uh, so you know how you know, you're know saving money without even realizing it. You put stuff in your cart, it tells you like, oh, we got a promo code for this, or we got a coupon for this, and boom, there you go. Um, so you can use it on Amazon, you could use it on whatever you want, Macy's, Target, Sephora, Best Buy, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, it has over 100,000 five-star reviews on Google Chrome Store, um, and it's great. So Go check it out. It's free also, which is the best part. Uh, just installs in a few seconds. Go to joinhoney.com slash basement uh, for that. Uh, again, that is joinhoney.com slash basement. Okay. And those are the sponsors for today. I'm getting a Pop-Tart. You're getting, Danny's getting a Pop-Tart. Uh, a Pop-Tart? Yeah, I didn't want people to watch me eat Pop-Tarts. But I got Pop-Tarts. I got... Three six-packs of these. 
How much is that? How many are those? What? If there's six, if there's 12. And I have 36 Pop-Tarts. And are they all the same one? They're all strawberry. Ew. Why are you saying ill? Why is everybody fucking saying Yo, this? Yo, we got s'mores. We got cinnamon, whatever. There were no s'mores. There were no s'mores. I even screamed in Costco, this is the only flavor you guys had. <laughs> what about so this is What it. about cinnamon? There was no cinnamon. It was just a, just a plethora of strawberry. That's all it was. The plethora of strawberry tarts. So you, so you bought 36? I bought 36 because that was the only thing they sell at Costco. They want to feed small armies and... and, and Hispanic families, and they gave it to me. Yeah, that's what it is. They knew they're that not terrible. The Hispanic, they knew the Hispanic side of me was gonna crack when I saw the pack, and I did, and I broke. Nice, I broke. I yo, let me ask you a question. Ask away. Tr Triscuits, yay or nay? Do I have a glass of water around? Yes, there is water yes, around. I'll take it then. Tr Triscuits are a good fucking quarantine snack. They're a corn snack. They're. What's your top five corn snacks? Oof. Pop tarts is, is one. I've had a pop tart during this. A, a s'more pop tart. Yeah. Um. You had a s'more pop tart. I had a s'more pop tart the other day. I'll be honest. I've been crushing hummus, or as I like to call it, uh, uh, Jew butter. <laughs> <laughs> Hummus is Jew butter. That's what it is. Sure. So I've been... 100%. I have like a bunch of these in my fridge. Just like little like um, servings of it. It's like a little thing. There's yeah. There's cops everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's, hummus is great. You dip chips or pretzels or whatever you want into that. <laughs> Yo, Jew, Jew butter yeah. is so funny. <laughs> That's what it is. Hummus. Oh, Jew butter is so funny. No, cause yo, you put it, you oh put it God. on toast, you put it on whatever. And Jewish, yeah, Jewish dude. people love hummus, and it's like it's it's amazing. I'm and I was late to the fucking party as far as hummus goes, but it's great. And yeah. this one is the roasted red pepper hummus, fucking fire. Oh, roasted red pepper hummus is fantastic. Yeah, dude. I love I love hummus. I love I don't have any hummus here though. And it's it's you know what's satiating as well, so it keeps you full. What what what's that word? Satiate satiate like you <laughs> what the fuck does satiate mean <laughs> satiate's not a word yes it is there's no way that the word satiate is real hold on I'll, uh, can you hear this i'll, I'll turn yes. it up satiate oh, listen listen satiate satiate Sa like satiate yeah like you could say she ate it but we know you did. Did mom eat? Say she ate. Say she ate. Say she did right now. Tell me she ate right she, now. Say, say she, she ate. ate. Yeah. This is my top five corn snacks. Triscuits. Hint of sea salt or olive oil and herb. Fantastic. Okay. Pop tarts, s'mores, and or strawberry. I got two sitting in my lap right now and they're cooking because my undercarriage is steaming hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Little seaweed snacks. Oh, garbage. How are they garbage? Hate, They're so good. It's like eating... Like a Korean barbecue flavor? Oh, those are actually good, yeah. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, the, the Korean barbecue flavor is... Squish. It is so goddamn Squish. good. Right? Squish. Squish. Four peanut butter filled pretzels. Oh, yeah. You get a tub of that, and you just start destroying that. And then five, I've been sneaking little Nutella bites, and this is how you save your Nutella kids at home. Put your Nutella in the fridge. Oof. Okay? Yeah. Don't leave it out because then it's just, it's just goopy goodness yeah. that you just spoon yeah. feed it to yourself like a yeah. sick yeah. diabetic yeah. freak at three in yeah. the <laughs> But if you put it but if you put it in the fridge and let it harden, it becomes like a little snack that you just lick the spoon for a little bit and it just gets all over your mouth. Uh, and then it gets all goopy. Oof. And then it melts in your oh. mouth and it melts down your throat yeah. hole. And then all the way yeah. down your esophagus mm -hmm. into your into your stomach. Is esophagus a thing? Yeah, it's more than one esophagus. Esophagus. That's the that's the plural version. Yeah. Damn, dude, satiate my esophagus. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I'm trying to do, dude. Um, <laughs> brother. Uh, <laughs> satiate my esophagus, dude. <laughs> um, wait, what? Are you, you're just taking like spoonfuls of Nutella, or what, what are you doing? Are you dipping stuff? All right. No, because I fast in the morning. I don't really eat till like noon or one o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so sometimes at night, I like to sneak into the kitchen like a little Puerto Rican mouse. And, and, and I'll sneak in there, and I'll be like, oh, what's this? And another thing I have to ask you, too, after this, because I was wa- I was floored by this. Danny lives alone, uh, sneaking into his own kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I like to sneak into my kitchen when no one's around. <laughs> There's something about sneaking into your own kitchen at 1 o'clock in the morning, feeling like you could get caught by no one. Like your mom's going to be like, hey, get back to bed. I, I still feel like my mom is in here, and she could be like, hey. Get it over here. Do you remember how hard it was to make a sandwich at like one in the morning when you were a kid? That shit was like trying to like the Hurt Locker. <laughs> I was just like, yo, like I need to be as quiet as possible to fucking get this fucking sandwich. Man. Yeah. Peanut butter. Do you put it in the fridge or you leave it out? No, I leave it out. This is news to me. Wait, I thought peanut butter was always refrigerated. That's not a fridge thing. Peanut butter is a fridge no, thing. You, you cannot fridge your peanut butter. You fridge peanut butter, especially if it's all natural and it gets fucking disgusting and it looks like it's been sweating overnight. Yeah, but <laughs> no, but the fucking peanut butter is, uh, especially like natural peanut butter, is already like quicksand. It's impossible to like spread it. Now you're gonna make it hard. I like to freeze my butters. Yeah, I, I just... I'll I'll freeze a butter. I'll freeze a butter. Yeah. I do like, though, a nice... Grape jelly is shit. It's not my favorite. Strawberry jam fucks hard. Dude, I would, like, fucking nail strawberry jelly. Dude, I have strawberry jelly here, and I just had it on a crystal. Jelly or jam? Jelly or jam? It's it's jam. It's jam. It's strawberry But what do you prefer? Jam, for sure. Jams are better than jellies. Wait, uh, the difference is like the seeds, right? I think the difference is the seeds. And like the the yeah. good, the fucking, it's like sifting through a bunch of body parts, the jelly. And what the fuck is a marmalade? I don't know. I think that's just... I don't know what marmalade I is. Just I jam. think marmalade is a mix of jelly and jam, I think. I don't know. It's a marmalade. Yeah, and then there's another one. A spread. No. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> it's like marmalade, jelly, jam, and then there's like a fucking another one. What is it? Marmalade, oh. marma, uh, marzipan, marazipan, <laughs> marazipan. Is that a antidepressant? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, bro. Marmalade, I don't know. It's some it's weird shit. Another thing I put in the fridge too, or sometimes in the freezer, grapes. Yeah, we went over that. That's not a bad idea. Fro- f- frozen grape is a, is a great idea. I bought two huge bottles of lemon juice. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> You're not really prepared for this whole thing, right? Dude, I'm not prepared at Why all. Why do you have so much lemon juice? What do you need it for? What are you making? You're making chi- not- fucking... Uh, what's that fucking shit called? That lemon chicken? Ch- chicken uh, franchise? Lemon- yeah, <laughs> chicken franchise. Fucking every yeah, night. I, I'll make a franchise. I'll, you know, do you do you eat garnish when it's like if if a meatball comes with like a, a basil leaf on top? Are you gonna eat the basil leaf? Sometimes. Sometimes I take it off. Are you not supposed to take it off? Sometimes I take it off, but then like if it's if it's too ingrained in the meatball, like there's sauce on top of it. I'm like, well, this is part of the ball now. Yeah. So yeah, I gotta yeah. eat that yeah. ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, can we talk about Donald Trump for a second? Yeah. Yo, Donald Trump has no idea what's going on. It's like, dude, I have no idea what's going on, but he really has no idea what's going on. People just read him things and he's like, all right, we'll do that. Dude, the biggest thing though with him is that how he just said that these two fucking, I don't even know, like these two like medications or whatever. He's like, when you take them. It's doing a great job. And then the doctor gets on right after him and goes, don't do that because we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the doctor said that. He's like, no. Also, don't fucking that do guy, it. Dr. Fauci, whatever the fuck his name is, he looks like the old grandpa from Eight Crazy Nights. He gets up yes, there he does. and he's like, listen, uh, don't do whatever the fuck he just said because we have to run tests. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's like- how science and medication works. All right, we got to test this. 
He looks like the butler from Wedding Crashers. <laughs> He's not a he's not a butler. <laughs> he's like a, he's like a priest, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He's the father. He's like father. Yeah, he's priest. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Take him. Take him while it's hot. Take him while it's hot. He does. I told you that in confidence. Yeah. I bought so much Pellegrino though. Pellegrino poppy, not bad. Yeah. I just I just have hummus and like seltzer, and I have uh, two cauliflower pizza crusts where I'll, I'll probably fire one up like as soon as we're done here. 100 percent 100 percent yeah i've been the days have kind of been going fast though for some reason i don't like it dude it's it's kind of scary like it's just another day down it, another day down in this weird coronaverse I, you know what's the craziest part is like i feel like we're losing a uh time in our lives which is a bad way to look at it so like this is how i first originally like was looking at it of being like fuck dude if this lasts until like september we just lost all that time but that's a very like pessimistic way of looking at that's 100 the most pessimistic outlook on life i've ever heard but it's like hard it's hard to <laughs> no i agree with you i agree no, with you. it's, it's hard to like see at first that this could be like a, a positive in a way because you have to try and be as positive as possible but it's like during this time now you have so much time to like create new habits and it's like you you can't you're you can't be distracted by bars restaurants like work to a sports. certain degree sports there's just a lot of time yeah. a lot of free time for you to do whatever the fuck you want to do and it's like are you gonna just complain the whole time because this could be months so you're gonna p complain the whole time and not be productive or are you gonna start creating new habits and like starting to like you know put some things in place so that when things do go back to normal you're better for it than you were going in one, I couldn't have said that any better myself. Uh, and and the, and the other thing is too. It's like, even you, like even you said, you've been doing some emotional tweets. Yeah, because it's my boy's been emotionally tweeting, and I feel <laughs> him though. I'm not, I'm not making funny. I'm not making funny. He's he's been emotionally tweeting. This should be a great time for you to just build whatever <clears throat> relationship that you have, whether it's with your family, significant other, whatever. Take the time out. And talk to some people, even if it's via text and all that shit. Just go out there, FaceTime your family. Thank God Corona hasn't affected the internet yet. You know, it's just been really nice to be able to just talk to people about life and about, you know, their distant cousin in the CIA who's planning the lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, it's been really, it's been really, really nice also, to do that. I, I was telling this to my sister the other day because we were sitting. This was like at the beginning of the wine night. Um and I was feeling nice and I was still coherent, but I was just like, I saw this post on Instagram. I put it on my story of like, it was like a, like six swipes of different examples of people in Italy, like making the best of their situation. And it was like a guy with like a DJ, he, his DJ equipment out on his balcony and he was blasting music and people were going crazy. There was old people dancing on their balconies. There was people singing, like doing whatever. Hell yeah. And like that kind of stuff makes me so happy because it's like we were kind of forced into doing that. And I know it's not a person that like the virus isn't a person, but I like to imagine that if the virus had some sort of uh conscience that it would it would be it would see those posts and be like, Jesus, what do I have to do? To break these people's spirits, but it's like, I just love. That's a great outlook. Actually. No, but I, I love, and I, I was, I keep telling people this. Like, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how creative people can get with how to pass their time, because no one's just gonna like completely give up and and just like sit in their house and not do anything. Like, they're gonna think of yeah. ways, and like humans are just like that, mm -hmm. where they create really cool things out of nothing. And like, this is a time where we're very limited to what we can do, but people are doing stuff. Like, they're having like uh happy hours over facetime and everyone's like drinking and talking together and like yeah that kind of stuff is like really cool to me and that stuff makes me feel like happy it makes me feel good because it's like i i like to see where you know humans can kind of push it and it's nice that in a, in a time where there's a fucking worldwide pandemic and people are dying and like whatever like people are trying their best to stay in like good spirits and it's just i don't For know sure. that's just like that part's just like dope to me i like that a lot not i, I would have never made quarantines exactly you know what i'm saying so yeah, i think this is the best time for people to just try and like you said find some new hobbies 
or expand on some hobbies that you've been trying to like, you know, nail down. Um, this has been a long three months of a year. Yeah. Um, and it's only going to get longer. It looks like, so you got to try and just put yourself in the best position to kind of better yourself with, I think, like you said, not having bars, not having restaurants, not having places to really go besides really the internet. Like you should be, you should try to be creative. Even if you don't feel like a creative person, this is a great time for you to try and get out there and <clears throat> actually pursue those things you want to do. Cause everybody's home. That's what I'm also thinking about. Like social media and shit like that. Yo, everybody's home. Everybody's on their phone. Yeah. If you, this, if you're going to do anything at this time, this is the time. All right. Email that producer, email that whoever, try to get on as much as you can. Cause everybody's checking their phones right now. So try and do that. Try to see the good in this fucking wacky ass shit that's going on. And, uh, masturbate. <laughs> also, I just, that's it. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's cool too. Like, I feel like, uh, it, this whole thing has made the world feel so small. Cause like I'm yes, checking, I'm yes. checking in on, german news on italy like how's italy doing and like this and that like and it's it just feels like there's nothing more unifying than like a common enemy you know and like we're all kind of facing this thing so it's like we're all kind of on the same team uh kind of like going through this whole thing and it's like it's also nice to know that you're not alone in like all the shit that you're doing so it's like we're all kind of having the same suffering in a way not you know, to the same degree, obviously, but everyone is right. kind of stuck in this situation. Like right now, your favorite fucking artist, who otherwise would seem untouchable, has to be has to stay in their house. It's probably yeah. a you know better situation than our situation, but uh, yeah, for sure. You know, they're 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 confined to their house, just like we are. Like we're all going through this shit together. Um, but yeah, even even if you're not like a creative person and you don't want to do ever, like for me, I I want to s- start. You know, I have all the time in the world to do whatever the hell I want now. So it's like, what are you going to do at that time? Like, create new things to do. Like, you can still go yeah. outside for the time being. So, like, set, like, dude, start going running. Start reading every day. Start, you know, you want to start doing meditation. You want to start doing yoga. You want to start doing whatever. Like, start creating these healthy habits so that when you do get to the point where it's like, okay, now everything comes back, you already have these things ingrained yes. in you. With the more time this goes on, you can either take it and make it a fucking miserable time or take it as just like you're you're away at a school for your habits in a way. I'm right. also reading a book about like creating and breaking habits. Uh, What's the name of the it's book? It's called Atomic Habits. Who wrote it? Uh, his name's James Clear. Um, but I was recommending the book and usually like – I don't get through these types of books because they're very vague and like general and like whatever. But this one kind of gets into the science behind habits and like dopamine and like cues and blah, 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 blah. Like it's, it's like a little more like whatever. So I am a little more than halfway through it. So I'm, I usually get halfway through one of these books and I'm like, all right, I'm, I know what this is. Like I throw it away, but this right. one I'm going to finish. And like, it, it seems like a, a good, a good read so far. But um, yeah, I just think that like everyone should just, create a schedule for themselves dude like you're gonna have all the time in the world the worst thing you can do is just kind of wake up and go what do i do today like you should already fucking know and at least just have some things in place that you get to do every day be like i'm gonna be up at this time i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and usually it just feels like on my days off i just do whatever the hell i want for the most part but now your life is a day off now you know that's the craziest thing is every day is a day off. Like you don't have any responsibilities. I mean, some people do that. I mean, they're working from home and shit and I get that. Some, some people, but it's like, yo, it's like other than that though. Yeah. There's a lot of people not doing shit. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, some people are getting laid off. I don't know how the fuck they're going to pay rent or how they're going to do whatever. And like, that is just, you know, that's the thing that worries me the most. It's like, you know, the, the like, economic fucking, that's what I'm worried about. Honestly. Yeah, dude, I've had family members get laid off. Yeah, me too. And and not only that, but fucking all the businesses that are around that like ones that just opened up or like bars that are like whatever, like an in between kind of place, like they're gonna be shut down, dude. Not gonna recover. A lot of, a lot of uh, 
that's really the sad thing is that, you know, small businesses are going to go out of business because of this. And it's fucking terrible. And it's, uh, it's one of those situations where, you know, it's not just about getting sick. Yeah. You know, that, that's the crazy part. It's not just about getting sick. Like that's almost to the least of some people's worries is about getting sick. It's about how they're going to pay their fucking rent, which is terrible. Or take care of their kid. Yeah. You know, I just think that a positive and a light at the end of the tunnel, if you do need that to hear it is like, I remember when we had this conversation, we were on flagrant two with, with Schultz and Akash and shit. And we were talking about nine 11 and when nine 11 happened in New York, it was like this terrible thing and it was whatever. But the, the days after that, and like the, uh, for a long period of time after that, it really felt like everyone was on the same team and they were like proud yes. of like where they were from. And it was such a good feeling in the city. And now it's the entire world. So to think about what's going to happen after this is like, yes, there's going to be like the, the market's going to shit. People are going to lose a lot of money. People are going to lose their jobs. People are going to become homeless. Like it's just going to be bad. But I do, I'm optimistic that it's going to feel very inclusive and it's going to be like, a, uh, like we're going to look back on this time after this and and be like you know that was just a great time where you see people coming together and like being on the same team basically so I'll, hopefully you know that's the case and i'm i'm pretty optimistic that that will be the case because i don't really see a fucking alternative no nah, it's just gonna be crazy at one point we're all gonna be sitting somewhere and be like yo remember coronavirus yeah at some point that's gonna happen and be like yo that fucking shit was crazy yeah because this is unlike anything this is I've never experienced anything like this in my life. No. Like there was I mean there was like there was 9/11, there was the fucking the stock market crash and then but like those kind of things like 9/11 happened and then everything was back to normal like 5 days later. Not everything in the world, but like your day-to-day -day, for the most part was back yeah. to normal like within a week. Motherfuckers were playing baseball and basketball and shit like yeah. you know like they were like they were out like there's nothing going on. Yeah, there's nothing happening. This is the world is a ghost town. Yeah, so it's. Very I did see strange. a fun. I did see a. Yeah, it is. I did see a funny ass video, of uh, in California. These people were playing. Oh well, there was a helicopter going over. It's like it's basically a ghost town out here, and they pan over and it's just a full court basketball game going on. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, yo, these people don't give a fuck, yo. These people are out here hooping. Yeah. I was like, you know, it's weird. It's fucking weird. Yeah. It's just strange. Like, now it's like if you see somebody outside, you have to get mad at them? I, I Honestly, a lot of people, I, I see a lot of people exercising. A lot of people just going for runs and shit. Yeah. I Like, I, I need to go for a walk today. If I don't go for a walk today, I'll lose my fucking shit. Yeah. You need to, yeah. Cause it's, yeah. And thank God it's like the weather that it is now. It's kind of like we're getting a really good day and then we'll get like a bad day. It's going to snow tomorrow. Uh, I don't think it's going to snow. I think it's going to rain because it's too hot. Not hot, but it's too oh. warm for that. But it did have snow on the fucking thing. But I think it changed the rain. But oh, it changed. Can you imagine rain? it was like dead winter, freezing, and it was like, ugh, like it would be. I guess it was like that for, with Hurricane Sandy. It was cold as shit. Yeah, but that also was like that wasn't long, bro. As long as I got power, I'm getting through this thing. Yeah, I'm getting through it. I'm getting through it. Yeah. And, you know, just fucking stay inside. Don't fucking hug your... Don't go see your grandma for, for a month. Yeah. You know, stay inside, eat a Pop-Tart, and chill the fuck out. That's all you gotta do. That's what I'm saying. Dip your Pop-Tarts in your Nutella. Dip your Pop-Tarts in your Nutella. Get a Keurig. You know? Crush coffees. Wipe down... Yeah, yeah. And, you know, don't spit in anybody's ass. Yeah. Stock up on the Jew butter, because it's good. Well, yeah. Stock up on Jew butter, and you're good to go. <laughs> Your life is good. And that's it. We'll be fine. And, uh, yeah. We're going to make it through this. We're going to make it Do through this. Do you have anything that you, that you're like, you're going to try and like implement into your life during this time? Exercise. I'm being forced to exercise. Um, and, uh, for me, uh, the one thing I really want to get a grasp on during this entire thing is, uh, like I said before, just relationships with people. Reach out to people I haven't talked to in a little bit. Check in on people's families and shit. You know, see how people are doing. And then just, like you said, just try and find the positive and do positive things during this time. Like, thankfully, I'm here. 
I get to put my apartment together a little bit. So there's some stuff that I was putting off because of like work or just like finding excuses not to do shit. Now it's like I have to do all this shit. So like, you know, I'm just trying to just keep moving forward. That's that's really it. But the exercise is the main one for sure. Yeah. Any my again, I, what about just you? to reiterate, I mean, yeah, I I'm trying to my main thing is just creating a schedule for myself because there is a lot more free time now. That too. That too. Create create a productive schedule. That I have to like abide by. Like I have to be yeah. up at this time and I have to read for this amount of time and then I have to go exercise and then I'll come here and start working and stuff. You know? And right. then like Like work like this should be like secondary to like that to that other Yeah, stuff. and you need to like work like you need to just have things like if you're laid off from your job or like my my mother works in a school that's like shut down, so she's not doing anything. You know, like she, yeah. minimal work from home for her. So it's like I've been telling her, like, just create things that you need to do. You know, like for sure that otherwise you wouldn't necessarily need or you wouldn't have the time for. Because that's the only thing that's going to keep you sane through this whole thing. Otherwise, you're going to go nuts. One hundred percent. Otherwise, you're going to start, and- you know, leaving your house and going and getting random tattoos all over your body. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of more tats though, for sure. Dude, uh, when this is over, I'll get a celebratory fucking tattoo. I don't give a fuck. What, yo, we have to go get a celebratory. I almost got a San Diego Studios tattoo. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, I did. I almost got it, but then I realized that I would have you tattooed on my name forever, and God forbid you ever fire me, it'd be tough. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you considered that. Oh, I did for sure. And then I was what, like get the logo. SS. Yeah, I was gonna get the logo. Now what I what I was gonna do is on the chain. You know how it's on a what is this thing called? A, a slate. A slate. I was just gonna get a slate to just like represent the studio on my hand. But then I was just like, all right, let's chill. Let's see how this Corona goes first. Let me make sure I still have a job. Honestly, the so the slate like, is a is a better way to do it because at least then you can I think like it's cool. you can like lie about what it means. Yeah, if yeah. anything so happens. Like, yeah, just I love film. I'm a, so I got a slate. I love film. I'm always ready to take another take at life. Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's my take at yeah, life. First take. First take. First take. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. I'm just happy. I'm. If you know, I, if I'm texting you like, yo, I can't wait to get back to work. That's when you know it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm happy that we're able to do and this. This is how me and, and Danny are going to be recording from now on. By the way. Yeah, for, for, for the foreseeable future. Yep. But uh, I'm just happy that we were able to do it today and uh, bring some light to everybody. And just stay positive. You know what I mean? If you you know have an hour and some time just to distract yourself. And uh, remember to um, you know spend your money on essentials, food, Pop-tarts. water, Pop-Tarts, uh, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Uh, <laughs> three pounds of Nutella. <laughs> three pounds of Nutella. And uh, yeah, keep your head up. Yeah, I think mother. I think Mother Teresa said that. She did. She did say that. Right, Mo- Mother Teresa, and then Tupac remixed it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Where can they uh, find you, bud? You can find me uh, hunker down. I've said <laughs> hunker. Down. I've said hunker down, maybe forty times since this fucking quarantine started. I've never used hunker down ever in my life. I've used it way too much. Yeah, I feel like an old white dad. Like, oh, we got to hunker down and really give it our all. Like, dude. you guys, you guys got to hang. You guys got to hunker down. What am I coaching a gotta... softball team? Yeah. You got to hunker down, and, uh... get to the plate, <laughs> swing away. Come on, kid. Hunker down now. Uh, at Daniel Perry on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, I've been doing these series of lives uh, teaching people how to take proper showers. So you could check me out doing that. All right. You haven't seen you haven't seen those. No. Last few days, I've been going live from the shower, teaching people how to properly uh, bathe during the quarantine. Nice. Yeah. Educational. There you go, uh, guys. You can follow me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at the Basement Yard, and uh, yeah, that's all. All right. See you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> we, we love you. Bye. Bye.